morning and welcome to vlogmas day 15 got my hair it turned out a bit pinker <laughs> than i'd originally uh, anticipated by pinker i mean what is this even um it's still dying my neck pink i don't know if you can tell so hopefully that'll die down. Also, new brow product, so I look a little bit being the merciless. We'll see. Here's a naughty dog that likes to steal toast. Yes. Should we give you away? Hmm? Should we leave you on the side of the road? Free to a good home? I think we should give this stinker. I'm about to go to work, but I thought I would say hi and show you my hair. And also, one more sleep till my sister flies. Oh! Um, so it's work right now, and then this afternoon, don't know what we're doing. Stephen left for Iceland this morning. I might try and distract James somehow. Hi. Good evening. I'm closing the curtain. You don't like the reflection, do you, James? Ooh. Still picking the icing off the cake. Speaking of cake, I shall be icing my Christmas cake next week, which means that I have to feed it for the final time ce soir. We're in from school, it's raining sideways, I'm making a pasta sauce and James is eating gingerbread icing. We're going to get changed into comfies and have some tea. Right James, come and get your comfies on. Hey, get off that icing, little stinker. I'm making some veggie bolognese and the pot's on for the pasta and I'm going to be adding some Worcestershire sauce there's a meme I think it must be a North American meme and it says is anybody ever completely uh, happy with the way that they pronounce Worcestershire sauce and then I was watching binging with Babish it was steamed up Sorry. Sorry about that. I was watching Binging with Babish and uh, he was making something that required Worcestershire sauce. And we go, Worcestershire. Worcestershire to burst you. It just made me laugh. Little language things that you don't think about. Need to feed the cake, don't I? It's a weird to cake. Now then, wow, that smells boozy. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. delicious. Next stop, several millilitres of rum. Can you even see? Sorry about that. Oop. Set that on there. Cowpole syringe. Because I have a clock that tells me the time in Kuala Lumpur. Ellen phone me, it's five past one in Kuala Lumpur. Which means it is tomorrow in Kuala Lumpur, which means it's Friday, which means Lucy and the kids fly today, Kuala Lumpur time. The cake is fed its final feeding of this year. So this beast I made in August, I think. It was the very end of August, beginning of September. But I'm excited to ice it. First though, pasta. Hello. We've had tea. James is watching telly. I found my snowflakes. I don't know if I told you I was looking for these the other day. But I bought these from the pound shop. And I wanted to arrange them on the ceiling. Like snowy dingle dangles. So that's what I'm doing now. Beautiful. What do you think, James? Is it beautiful? It's, 
It's white. <laughs> Can't argue with that. How about yes? How about no? How about no? You're trying to trick me. How about no? Excuse the filthy table. I've set a terrible example. James now wants to climb on chairs and try and reach the ceiling. Because <laughs> apparently that's what I've been doing for the last 20 minutes. But look! Look at all the snowflakes! How many are there, James? 11 snowflakes. There's not 11 snowflakes. How many snowflakes are there? 10. <gasps> You're such a fibber. 6. <gasps> there are 6! High five! We have 6 snowflakes. What's Poppy doing? <laughs> You're going to snuff your head in a minute. <gasps> Where's James? Come here, James. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you're falling over, Poppy. You're falling over. He's walking in the sky. Okay. He's walking Ready? in the sky. She's walking in the air. She's all walking in the air. She's floating in a moonlit sky. This dog is part pug. Can you tell? <laughs> I've got a brain in my head. Mummy, I have a brain. You do have a brain in here. It's a very big brain. A very big brain. Hi, holla. I am making a pepper chain. Oh yes, yeah, so festive. Oh, that's a block monster. That's a block monster. He got a bruise. I thought it was, you know, um, like an envelope has sticky goo sometimes. So I wet a sponge to like stick it together. Turns out it's not. You come with these impossible double-sided sticky tabs. So I am sellotaping it together. And the two designs are this little brown paper looking one that says Merry Christmas inside the wreath. And then this one which says eat, drink and be merry. Which is, you know, everyone's philosophy to Christmas, especially mine. I'm going to make up as much of a paper chain as I can and then string it in the hallway on the ceiling so that it's like a festive festoon as you walk in. Ah! You've broken it again! A little stinker! Move that! Get off the track, Mr. Snowman! Look at this! Mr. Snowman's derailed the train again. There we go! <laughs> what have you done, James? Mr. Snowman's being dragged by the rails. Oh, look, he picked him back out. What are you doing, Pops? That biscuit is still under there. <laughs> she lost a biscuit under there ages ago. That will make it move. Where's that biscuit? Why does that make me laugh so much? I don't know. You ready, Pops? You ready? For the amount of fluff I showed you the finished Whoa. paper chains. Well, James is in bed finally, and I'm sitting down to watch It's a Wonderful Life and do some editing. So I'll see you tomorrow for Winter Wonderland.